there guys I hope it's working now so I'll just go ahead and I guess squish this until you guys get back so um, I don't know I went and turned off a few things that might have been pulling from it but other than that I think maybe it's just busy because it's nighttime and everybody's on on a Friday night I'm not sure but um, hopefully this fixes it and we can just keep going but yeah so I don't know, this is really, really slow. <laughs> hey there! Hi! <laughs> Alright, I'll give everybody about a minute more. How did it come up? Did it, did it come up, like, as a new one for you guys? I don't know, I just kind of continued it. So I don't know how it's going to look, if it's going to look the same or if it looked different. Did it give you a new notification? Is it better now? Good. Very good. Yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> I saw another one. It was like two round pink faces, but I didn't get it. It was like one stacked on top of another. And I can't remember. One of them had always oh, a new notification. Okay, cool. Thank you, guys. So, um, yeah, it was uh, two pink happy faces, and one of them had hard eyes, but I can't remember what the other one had, so... All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I have more questions. I know I did one, but I said I was going to do three, so I'll go ahead and do two more right now. Um, so if you guys uh, watch the intro, uh, my intro, um, then you might know this because I guess it's kind of something you might not pay attention to, but it's kind of something that repetitiveness will help you like maybe remember. But in my intro, I have a sugar bunny eating a lollipop. How many bites of the lollipop does the sugar bunny take? Does anybody know? Or it might be a good guess. So it's not that many. So, hello, Emma. Here is your shout out. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness. I don't like when my phone is low. Kylie Sparkles, four is correct. So, yep, my bunny takes four bites. <laughs> it's kind of something you see every time. Kylie Sparkles, you got it. There you go. All right. Oh, I wonder if you guys know this. So, uh, there are their kid movies, and I know they made a lot of them, and I know that they made some more recently, but they were like for like a continuation of it. But Air Bud, do you guys remember that movie or know it? Or maybe you watched some of the newer ones and went back and watched the older one. Well. Wow. I'm talking specifically about the first Air Bud movie. So in the first Air Bud movie, what sport was the dog Buddy good at? So this all started, this huge series, the Air Buddies and all the little puppies, started from this one movie. So which uh, sport was Air Bud good at in the first movie? Likes big bows, basketball, you're right. So likes big bows. It was basketball. It's kind of, it was kind of sad. I didn't like the, the part where, the uh, the old owner of him was trying to get him back. That was, I watched it a long time ago though, so, it just didn't. I didn't like the feeling. I was like, no, don't choose him. Don't go back. So, and if you guys have seen the movie, you'll know what I mean. So, um, let's go ahead. And that was two. And we'll open up. You know, we're gonna open up something that's probably melting. Well, this is a finder's keepers. I've opened up two of these and inside I believe I've got Princess Celestia. Oh, maybe three, maybe three. Because I think I've got two Princess Cadences and one Princess Celestia. But I think it's already broken inside. And I didn't notice until I got it home and I was kind of bummed because if the chocolate's rolling around in the box, I'm not going to eat it. So normally you get a chocolate egg covered in foil and inside that egg, or actually on the outside, they have it on a little capsule, I believe, it comes with a little pony. So, um, yeah. And I don't, they don't have any rarities to these, like um, if one's more rare than the other. Aw, bummer. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to eat that. I don't think I will. I'll just get myself some different chocolate. But it was a chocolate egg. So um, it looks kind of dry, like it's been exposed to the air a little bit. And I know it's only wrapped in foil regularly, but 
still it was open and stuff and I don't know but there are crumbs down here you can see maybe I can see them trust me they're there see there goes one but yeah so I'm not gonna eat that chocolate it's such a bummer I have another chocolate though and I don't think that's anything wrong with that <gasps> look at I keep getting the princesses this is princess twilight sparkle so and she's an alicorn right I believe so so here is our checklist and I want to say these are just a little maybe they're the same size or a little bit bigger than the um the pop ones um that they have little suction cups on the bottom of if you have any of those you can kind of gauge the size based on that but here is the checklist for this as well just the same on the box and these I actually found at Walmart right at the check stand so if you're looking for them that's where I got them I find interesting things different places. Sometimes I find them at like um, gas stations. <laughs> they have some cute stuff. I found some Shopkins little mystery eggs there before. I did a video of those, but I'm at 7-Eleven. So, yep, sometimes you get good finds in different places. I actually found Jojo Siwa bows at 7-Eleven before too, if you could believe that. They were $10 each though. That's a little bit much. I mean, they, the ones at Claire's are even more, but these ones I know they were like they were like just the sequin, silver and sequin pink was all they had. So, yep, I already had those. All right, more questions. So, here's Harry Potter question per request. Um, I will do the trolls next. I just saw that comment. Yes, I will. Um, so, Harry Potter. I think the person that requested Harry Potter is here. So, get ready, guys. The, per the, per the person's probably going to be pretty fast at this. So, Harry Potter. Who first tells Harry that he is a wizard? Who's the first person to tell Harry that he's a wizard? What's their name? What is that person's name? <laughs> Hagrid E. Green, you got it. Just double double check the yep. E green. So here we go. E green. And you get to go in this one. And in case you guys are just um, joining, this bunny is for the grand prize drawing and everyone that ever got on or got an entry in any of my past live streams for any reason, for tagging a friend or for um, commenting the secret word on videos or answering correctly during my live streams, um, your name is in here. I put all the entries into this and this is for the ones from today and after I draw the winners from this, they will go into this one um, because uh, you can win again for the grand prize because it's anybody that's ever gotten one. So um, those will get put in there after. So let's answer another question. So what is the name of the reality TV show that Jojo Siwa was on? So it's a Jojo question. What's the name of the rea reality TV show that Jojo Siwa was on? <laughs> wow, girly games and toys. Yeah, I know your name is in there a lot. Thank you so much. I love my little sugar bunnies. So... Erica Eblen's Dance Moms. Yeah, the reality show is Dance Moms. I know she was, I think, in the movie Blurt, right? Erica Eblen. So there we go. And we'll do one more question, a Descendants question. So I know there's a few people, like three or four at least, that request Descendants questions. So Descendants. Who is Audrey's mother? Who is Audrey's mother? Descendants. Audrey, who is her mom? <laughs> School of Rock. School of Rock, I know that movie. Jack Black, isn't it? Aurora! Kika's World, you got it. So Kika's World, got that. All right, and I believe that was, yep, three. So I'll start doing three because I think I have enough. I think I do. I think I do. So, all right. 
next the trolls per request so i've opened up a lot of trolls and a lot of them have actually found homes recently so this is a series six and like the package it's glittery so it's got glitter on the troll i know i've opened up two other kinds one's a color changer and then one's just like regular trolls but this is a glitter one so um you can kind of tell if you're trying to figure out which troll you have in here if you press like on the plastic you can kind of see what color this has like a pink nose it looks like and by shape cooper is easy to tell and so is biggie and then this one feels like it has a bow in its hair like if you feel the hair and then yeah i can see there's a bow and i think there is i know there was one that did but i think there might be two and this looks like a bigger bow than the other one so other than that, I mean, I haven't ever shined my flashlight through it, so you might be able to do that too. But there's a checklist, so you'll have to move it away from that. But other than that, this code that's stamped on here is the same as all the other ones. And good luck if you have a new box, because I've never found these like intact in a new box, unless they bring it from the back for you. So best bet is just to kind of peek through the package there. So let's see. And I've got this one before, just like I said, a pink nose and a big pink bow. And it is the bigger one because I know there's a little one. It's a littler troll with a little bow. So, and I think we had this one and we named it Jojo because we didn't know her name or if she even had a name, she just might be like a basic troll, like just a filler in there. But I am not sure, but she's got a pretty pink sparkly dress on. So she gets a new home when someone picks her. And she gets to be in the drawing or the uh, prizes so here's our checklist and see there's the other one but she's short you can see compared to uh, branch I think I think I'm maybe remembering the names but um there we go she's not on here that was a really cool one someone picked that one and then there's these ones and here she is. no here she is i take the back so there were three actually with bows but you can see cooper is a totally different shape and biggie is a big shape so and then her hair is probably you could probably feel the difference to the package so it really does narrow it down and then there's three with bows and then there's you know a couple guys that have you could figure it out for sure and she'd be definitely different in feel so you could definitely figure out which troll just by feeling the bag and squeezing through it so good luck to you guys if you're trying to collect a certain one to complete your troll collection but let's get on to a question so here's a taylor swift question i had a request for this so what song does taylor swift in the music video play both a member in band and a cheerleader so what's the name of the song that goes with that music video. In the music video, she's a member in band and she is also a cheerleader. So kind of opposite, you know, uh, what do they call it? Um, I don't know, crews or just kind of clicks, I guess. Not really clicks, but just kind of opposite things they like to do. So, um, not bad blood, not shake it off. Nope. Nope. Not 17, it made me do uh, cheerleader, shake it off, shake it off. Nope, it's not shake it off. <laughs> Our song, nope. She holds up a sign in it too. She has a next door neighbor that the boy um, is with the cheerleader, Taylor Swift. And... Um, the band member Taylor Swift likes him and they've been friends for a really long time. <laughs> I thought this one was going to be super easy too. Hmm. I'm questioning if, if I got the... Okay, there we go. Okay. Kika's World, you belong with me. So, um, I'm questioning now if that's the name of the song, but that's what it said it was. I had to look it up just to make sure, but yeah, um, you belong with me. So Kika's world. Now that's going to drive me crazy. Yeah, I thought that was a really neat video where she played both the, um, kind of like the good guy, like the underdog, and then the, uh, 
quote, bad guy. You know, she was like a snobby cheerleader. And not all cheerleaders are snobby. It's just a stereotype. So that's what they were playing on the stereotype where the band member is like the nerdy, geeky person that the, you know, jock, popular boy would not normally, you know, date. And then the cheerleader, they probably cheer captain, you know. So that's what they were playing on the video. But it worked well, and she played both roles very good. So here is another request, Super Mario Brothers. So I love the Super Mario Brothers games, the original ones. Um, I haven't played so many of the new ones, but um, the old ones for sure I played a lot. I love those. So in Super Mario Brothers, what makes Mario invincible? What object does he touch that makes him invincible? So what object does he touch or get or collect that makes him invincible? E green, a star. So E green, you got it. A mushroom will make Mario bigger from um, if he was injured or if he started out small. But the star makes Mario invincible. You can just run right there and goes do 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 do. Got a little theme song with it, so. All right, and was that three? Yep, I think that was three. So let's see what next. Let's open up. Let's open up the other chocolate just to make sure. So I actually opened up one of these. I couldn't stop myself, so I had to get a replacement. Um, but I did find these in Arizona at the Walmart, and I do not see them at my Walmart here. So that's another new thing, and I like dinosaurs. So 24 dinosaurs to collect. I don't remember what the one I got was. It's kind of looking like that, but it was all green instead of orange and stuff. But it comes with chocolate, so they got me right there. Like, I saw chocolate, and I was like, yes, I'm going to get it. So, chocolate and a toy. You know, you got me at the check stand. <laughs> Those impulse buys, right, guys? That's where you ask for the stuff. Like, can I get this? Oh, I got a new one. Okay, Stegosaurus. So, it says Discovery World, and that's it. But, honestly, these are good like little um little toys like um the paint on them i, I want to say the paint was good but it's kind of a little bit not so great on this one but the other one they remind me of those um I, I can't pronounce it i've never heard it said but like the slag or something but they're like the really good um like hard toys they do like uh all kinds of animals and dinosaurs and even uh, like princesses and unicorns and mystical stuff but it's good. It's decent. It's not like those super cheap ones, and they're solid. They're not hollow. So, at, you know, the price, I think they were $2 or something, then, you know, it's good. So, but it doesn't come with an egg. It's just a little chocolate, and the little chocolate, I can say it's very soft, so I'm not going to open it because it's going to just be melted, but it had a little flower on the top, which I thought was weird because it's, you know, a boy toy, quote, boy toy, um, you know, dinosaurs. You know, boys, it's what, stereotyping. But, um, yeah, for a little, you know, I guess, flower to be on there, I thought it was a little odd. But it does come with a checklist. So I believe I got this really difficult thing to say. <laughs> the checklist is really small, but I will attempt it the last time I got it. Because um, right here is the Stegosaurus. That's the one I got. And it's I can't get it. It's really small. Look how small this is. It's very small. But it is a... Carchodontosaurus. There you go. It's a dentist. So it's a dentist dinosaur. Oh, they've got some jokes here. So did you know the name dinosaur means frighteningly big lizard? Amazing scientists believe that even the Tyrannosaurus rex had feathers. Yowza, the smallest known dinosaur was the pterodactyl with a wingspan of only 10 inches. Wow, they really portray them um, different in the movies. They make them seem so big. But I know, there's, I know there's like Pteranodon and other kind of um, dinosaurs that fly. So, question, what do you call a sleeping dinosaur? A dino snore. <laughs> How can you best raise a baby dinosaur? With a crane. Oh, that's clever. Uh, where do dinosaurs do their shopping? Oh, at the dino store. <laughs> Those are knee slappers. So, they're kind of corny, but come on, guys. I'm actually going to take the chocolate out because that's going to get all over. And I should put it somewhere where it's a little bit darker under my desk. All right, so we will do some more questions. So here is a Sophia the First question per request. So in Sophia the First, 
Who takes care of the castle? What's the name of the person that takes care of the castle? Pterosaurs weren't dinosaurs, they're reptiles. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah, um, it's it's Bailey Bailiwick, but yeah, I'll take that Kika's World. It's Bailiwick, the chief steward. So, Kika's World, Bailiwick. Some of the names, I'd be like, how do you spell it? But yeah, I know you knew it. So, Kika's World got it. So, next question, an LOL question. Do you guys have your checklist? Right, so series two, Big Sisters. Name a doll with black and white hair. There are two different ones that you can pick. So, name a doll with black and white hair. I like to see that. Thank you for telling her good job. I like to see good sportsmanship. So, I do have more JoJo questions. I just kind of mix them up. So, doll face, girly games and toys. You got it. So, let me get you in there. Girly games and toys. And let me show you. So, the two things were, uh, where is doll face? Where are you? What was Dollface or Heartbreaker? So here's Heartbreaker and then Dollface I can't find. Why can I not find you? Oh, right here. So she's got a little bit, but yeah. Heartbreaker or Dollface. So series two. And one more question before we open up something else. So here's a Disney question. What is the name of the wilderness explorer in the Disney movie Up? So what was the name of that wilderness explorer? I really like him. I've actually seen someone in person that looked just like him, and I wanted to say something, but then I thought that might be rude, so I did not. But what is the name of the wilderness explorer in the Disney movie Up? Russell, girly games and toys, you've got it. So it is Russell. All right, there we go. So let's see. Let's do a Disney blind bag then. So Disney princesses, and it's a keychain as always. And there are different ones to collect. Ariel, Rapunzel, Snow White, Aurora, Mulan, Belle, which I have from a different series. And then Jasmine, Cinderella, Tiana, and then exclusive A. I can tell just by the shape that that's um, Pocahontas and then exclusive B. Um, she's from Brave. I think her name is Miriam, maybe? I can't remember what her name is exactly, but, um, yeah, it's the red-haired, um, girl with the curly, curly, curly hair. So, uh, hoping for maybe Ariel would be cute. I like Belle, though, but Ariel would be cute. Or one of the exclusives. Pocahontas would be awesome. Either one would be awesome because they're exclusives, but... Um, these, I actually found it randomly, like, with a whole bunch of different other kinds, so there was no, like, box to them. I don't think there's a placement, there's no code on it, there's no peak hole, like a, a vent hole, and it's covered in cardboard, so the only way to try to find these is by feel, and it's hit and miss with that, but if you really spend a lot of time, I don't think this is aerial, just because there's no extra on either side, it kind of feels more, oh, and let's see the top. I don't think there's a crown. Maybe it's like a snow white because I feel like, or a jasmine because there's a smooth head without anything on top. Might be Mulan. So my guess is snow white, Mulan, or jasmine. I think is my best guess for this one. So we will see. But I didn't spend very much time, so can't hold me too much to this. Mulan it is. And she's got her little puppy. Did she have a puppy in the movie? I don't think she had a puppy in the movie, did she? And his face kind of looks weird. Like, it looks stretched out if you see it. I don't know. In person, it looks... I'm seeing it on the camera, and it's not as prominent, not as noticeable, but there it is. 
Uh, Marit, Mar, Maridia, Marita, Marita, Merida, Merida. Why can I not say that? I couldn't say it. So we did get Mulan there. And there she is. The puppy looks better on the bag than it does in person, but she will end up in the giveaway, the prizes. So if you like her, then you can pick her if you win. And moving on, we're going to do some more questions. All right, here is more about Sugar Bunny, kind of. It's about my intro, outro kind of thing. So in my outro, so at the very end of my video, um, what is the very last thing that I say to you guys? It's two words. Two words. It's the very last thing that I say to you guys, though. <laughs> I do have some Series 3 questions for LOL Surprise. So what are the last two words that I say to you guys in my um, outros at the end of my video? Stay sweet. Yep, Kika's World. Stay sweet. So Kika's World got it. Because you should always be sweet. Even when people are not sweet to you, be sweet. All right, so that is one, and let's go on to this. Pokemon. Here is a Pokemon question. What is the name of the Eevee evolution that is purple? So there's an Eevee evolution that's purple. What is the name of that evolution? <laughs> I don't know. This is really big. It's And it stands up when you squish it. You don't have to. It doesn't fall over, so I like that. Nope, it's not Pikachu. Espeon is correct. Kika's World, you got it. I did not know that you liked Pokemon. Kika's World. Espeon is correct. All right, one more question and then we'll open up something else. All right. Oh, okay, here's a JoJo question for you guys. You guys better be quick because I know there's a couple JoJo fans here. So, you ready? You got your fingers right there ready to type? All right. What are JoJo Siwa's fans called? What does she call them? This is an easy one. This is so easy. What are JoJo Siwa's fans called? <laughs> this is so, so easy. Super easy. <laughs> Siwanators. <laughs> yep, Kika's World got it. Kika's World. See, one eaters is correct. But I see you know, a lot of people knew it, though. That was real close. I know that all pop popped in, like, real quick right after. So, it is see one eaters. All right, and I see my next question is Monster High. But, let's open up the Monster High. So this is Monster High Minis Series Season 2. I've opened up Season 1s that I found recently, and they have a pink locker. The Season 2s have the blue one. And um, we'll see how I do with the checklist, because I don't know all of the names of the different Monster High dolls, but I do know some, and they don't really give you the names of them on there. So um, as far as finding out which one is in there, the placement in the box, I think, is your best bet because the codes are all the same for the the different ones in there. Oh, 325. That's my birthday. I don't know if you can see it. You can maybe hardly see it, but um, I like to keep the box intact, so I will do my best here. There is no other way. There's no peak holes or anything. And then I'd go over this every time, but that's just in case nobody saw it from the last time or somebody's new here. So these are stackable lockers, which is really cool because they also double as a display case, but you can see the little um, thing right there. You can insert it into the bottom of another one when you have one. And this is a new one. So this is, it's like kind of creepy, but maybe it's like a voodoo doll, I think. I don't know. But um, it looks like it, it's Frankie Stein, I think. So a Frankie Stein and a different, like a kind of style. That's what they do. They have all the different uh, characters with different kinds of styles. So, and I say this every time too, they remind me of the Lala Loopsie dolls, the way that the shape of the um, legs and stuff is and the arms. But 
I do believe this is Frankie Stein because of the scar there on her face, the colors, blue and green, like a light, light green. And then this kind of looks like her um, suit, little skirt. And then it has the uh, stitching like Frankenstein does, like Frankie Stein does. And um, that is my best guess. So I think I'm right, though. I'm pretty positive. I'd say 99.9% .9 that this is a Frankie Stein variant. And it gives us a checklist. So, yes, they know we like checklists. So, okay, there it is. They're called Chalkboard Ghouls. And it's right there. And it's a blue, so it's a common. So, Chalkboard Ghouls. And I do really seriously think that that is her. And I would not know. This might be like Claudine... Well, I don't, I don't even know. Some of them would be easier to tell than others. Like, this has got to be Cleo. And then, I don't know. It looks like a genie. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. Maybe that's Laguna. That might be like Laguna. And then, yeah, this one maybe match. I, I, I honestly don't know. But there's the checklist. We've gotten some of the Shriek Geek. And I recently got a glitter one, but I think... No, I think it was in... No, maybe it wasn't. These ones are cool. The Electrified Ghouls. But I think it was a Series 1 one. So, this will go into the prizes. Let's get some more questions going. So, Monster High question. Monster High, what antique relic did Rebecca Steam have? So, Rebecca Steam, she had an antique relic. I actually watched this movie. I couldn't continue watching like everything that I like to watch. I just kind of run out of time in my day. So, but I did, I did, did know this episode when I was pulling questions. So <laughs> what antique relic did Rebecca Steam have? I do have Jojo Siwa, Disney and maybe Liv and Maddie questions. So a vampire heart, right? Kika's world got it. It was the vampire heart. And that um, shows, like, the vampire royal royalty, like, who the real royalty is. Kika's World. I actually really like Monster High. Just don't get to watch everything. No more time, you guys. All right. Next question is uh, Sophia the First, per request. But I do have the other questions, like I said. It's just mixed up, so... Sophia the First, what is the name of the sorcerer in Sophia the First's castle? So what's the name of the sorcerer in her castle? What is the name of the sorcerer in Sophia the First's castle? Cedric, girly games and toys, you got it. So girly games and toys. And in case anyone's wondering, when I do see something misspelled, I if it if it's supposed if basically if I know that they meant the correct answer, they just didn't spell it right, then I still give credit because I'm not gonna hold you to the spelling because people spell things unique all the time. So, um, but yeah, Cedric would have been with the C, but she did write Cedric. So, all right, here is a series three question. I know I saw I think E Green requested or wanted that. But, um, series three pet, but it's the pets, but I do have random other questions too. So series three pets, name a pet that has earrings. There are three different ones that have earrings. So name a pet that has earrings, guys. Boop. I guess I should have brought some slime too, but I mean, I don't know. I like doing this. Name a pet that has earrings. Bunny Wishes. Bunny Wishes is correct. So, yes. Um, girly Games and Toys, you got it. And I will show you guys. So, um, Bunny Hun was one. You can see on her ears, there's little earrings. And Rough Rocker. That actually almost slipped by me. But you can see there's earrings right there on the... That's her right ear, but on our left side. And then uh, Bunny Wishes right there. So, yep. Girly Games and Toys. But... Surprisingly, nobody else has earrings. Would you believe it? They mostly put them on the bunnies. So, girly games and toys, you got it. All 
right now. How many was that? I gotta double check. One, two, and that was three. So we'll open up something else. Um, it's been a while since I opened up a Ring Pop Puppy, but let me actually show you some of the things I'm gonna throw in the prizes. So I was trying really hard and I haven't posted it yet, but they had a bunny, one of these. It was the bunny, like I make, I know how to make balloon animals. Um, but they had a bunny balloon animal and I was trying so hard. I got these out of the quarter machine, but they weren't a quarter. They were three quarters each. So, um, I didn't have any more quarters. I ran out. So, and this was in Arizona. So hopefully they'll still have those when I go back, but this is the horse balloon animal. So it's just kind of rubbery and stretchy. I wouldn't stretch it too much. It might rip or something, but you can see the end with the balloon thing. So got a horse. There's a bear one and they're all different colors for all of these. But I just thought they were really cute. And then a little butterfly. I didn't get any doubles, so that was cool, though. And then I think this is supposed to be a monkey. I'm pretty sure. So, has the long tail like the monkey. <laughs> yeah, I did post these. So, these are prizes to pick if you like them. So, there you go. There's that. And then I'll actually show you another thing that I got on the quarter machine. I don't think it's really cute. <laughs> so like a normal whoopee cushion is pretty big, but this is like a little mini whoopee cushion. So I just think it's funny. It's such a harmless gag. Someone might be a little embarrassed, but there's no harm done. So I'll give that away. Got that in a quarter machine too. So um, let us open the ring top puppy. Series one. I have not seen series two. Um, they have these at Walmart, but I've seen them also at Target, and I can feel my puppy is not in the ring. So I don't know what's going on with that. But there is no way to determine what one you have because they all feel the same. They're all the same shape. There's no code. There is no vent hole. There's like these little tiny punctures here, which I don't know. It maybe was from the manufacturer. I don't have that on other packages. Or I didn't notice them. They weren't prominent enough. But I do have this gold one. And I would like the silver one because I've seen it. It's translucent. You can see through and it's got glitter. But I've got a lot of these and a lot of them have found new homes. And still some of them are with me and need a home. So if you like them and want to pick it, they are there. So let's see which one we got today. Oh, it's a pink and green one. And I know this is a double for me because I recognize that little swirl of hair. So pink and green. And it's, it's about the same size as a regular ring pop. But actually, you know what? I might take that back. So the regular ring pops are a little bit smaller than they used to be. Because I know they used to be bigger because I used to eat them all the time. And I think they've gotten smaller. I could look that up, actually. What the ounce size was before and what it is now. So, And you could actually, if you wanted to, just put little things in here, too. Like maybe you were going to make a bracelet while you were out. And you needed some place to store your beads. And you could put the string in there, too. I don't know. You could do a lot of stuff with this. You could put a lot of little toys in there. So there is the ring pop puppy. And you could always repaint these too. I almost, if I had more time, I'd be repainting a lot of things. But his nose is a little bit scuffed up. But that's probably from rolling around in the bag. So here's our checklist. He is not here. I really want sparkles, but I got Goldie. Those are the two rare. And right here, Lolly is the name. There's little Lolly. And, of course, Lolly will be going into the prizes so let's do another question it's a disney question more specifically winnie the pooh so winnie the pooh in winnie the pooh what is the name of the human boy we actually had this on the checklist for the adorables um the disney adorables just earlier in the stream in the first part of the stream before it cut out and i had to reset it so what is the name of the human boy Hi there, Nora. Christopher, Kylie Sparkles, you got it. It is Christopher, it's Christopher Robin. So, Kylie Sparkles. And there you go. So, Christopher Robin is the name of the boy. Next question, it is a Pokemon question. So, what uh, is the next evolution after Charmander? So 
Charmander is the basic one. What's the next evolution, the second one? So what's the next evolution after Charmander? <laughs> Hi there, Emma. Hi there. Is it Luz? Charmeleon. Erica Evelyn, you got it. It's Charmeleon. That was sticking to my fingers. So, Charmeleon is the next one. Has anybody seen that one video? I know I mentioned it before where uh, Charmander has a new name. It's Hamilton. <laughs> I like it. It's so funny. And a Harry Potter question per request. So, what is the name of the boy Hagrid gives a pigtail to? So, the boy that Hagrid gives a pigtail what is a pigtail like an actual pigtail not like a pigtail or a ponytail with your hair he gives him a pig tail so what's the name of that boy that he gives it to it's not ron it's not malfoy it's in harry potter guys someone what <laughs> it's not ron unless he did it to um Unless he did to somebody else, too, but. What is the name of the boy? Yep, you did, you did, uh, it was Harry's cousin, so you guys know? What's his name? We gotta get his name, guys, we gotta get his name. It was really hard for me to remember his name, too. It took me a few minutes. It was his cousin. Gryffindor, Neville, nope, Neville, I think Neville, his eyebrows, there we go, Dudley, E. Green, Dudley, it is, it was Dudley Dursley, Dudley Dursley, so, like, as you hear it, like, you're like, oh, that's right, so it was Dudley, Dudley Dursley, all right, and that is our third question, so let's open up something else. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Actually, let's show something. All right, so I got these. They're Hatchimals lip gloss, flavored lip gloss, party pack. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. And it's got a couple different cute little Hatchimals on there. I got one of the zebras, super cute. I've seen this one on a puzzle before. But banana, peach, strawberry, grape. Watermelon, cotton candy, ooh, I love cotton candy stuff. And bubblegum, bubblegum's really good too. Grape is hit and miss. It is like my favorite, but if it's like medicine, then no, it's a gross. But sometimes you get really good. And peach sounds really interesting. And banana's usually pretty good too. And watermelon, watermelon's usually, you know, they're all pretty good. I can't, I stop picking, stop picking. Okay, so I will be opening this up and then they'll be individual to um, select from. So that is one. And we will open up, how about, how about this? How about the My Mini Mix Cues? So I've opened up quite a few of these, and you guys know I've got a couple bunnies. These, I don't even know if you can find them in stores. I got them at Toys R Us before they closed. So if you can, then maybe by placement in box. But other than that, there's no codes or any way that you can tell what's inside. You just get lucky. So here we go. We'll see what we got. Really hoping for the unicorn one. I only need to open one side. <laughs> and our checklist. It comes with the bag. It comes with two dolls, two hair pieces, and then two outfits. Oh, did you see these at the Dollar Tree? Wow! That was less than what I paid for them <laughs> at Toys R Us. So. Oh, okay, what is this? This looks like a doctor, but I don't know which one it comes with. Okay, never mind. I take it back. It's a nurse. Does her hair want to fit? Okay. And she's got a little nurse cap. So this one's really cute. She's got a little x-ray. It's kind of hard to see. I got to get to the right spot. Oh, I hear a puppy. And then she's got her outfit on underneath. Still looks like nurse stuff. But um, here we go. And then the hat's got a little heart on it. And I really like her purple curly hair. That's really cute. 
So that is one. And our other one, hmm. She's got a little, um, I think that's a cherry blossom, ugh, ch cherry blossom flower. And that's um, usually reminiscent of Japanese culture there. So it might be like a little, um, she's got a shopping bag. Might be a little Japanese shopping person. Little Japanese shopper girl. So we'll see. But that is definitely a little cherry blossom there. So, okay, so bubbly. I would think she would be in bubbly, but she is not. Oh, Tokyo shopper. So Tokyo shopper, I was very close there. And she is green, which is every day. So she's like a common, but still really cute. And I like the hair. So there's that one. And then the nurse, sassy, zany. I want to say she's probably in smart, maybe. Oh, maybe not. Um, where are you? What are you? Okay, brave. So brave nurse. Wow, that surprises me that she's a common. Because she's got that little x-ray, which is kind of more detailed than a lot of them. But the little asterisk, which is on a lot of them, actually. Let me see. Oh, it's on the Tokyo Shopper, too. And the nurse, which means wave two character. But look, at, it's scheduled to release in September 2016. We're a little bit past that. So, yeah, these are kind of old. But still new, but old. So... The Nurse and the Tokyo Shopper are the two that we got. Series 1 checklist. And I don't know if they came out with any more. I think they might have come out with a Series 2, but I'm not sure. I can't be, can't be certain. So, we will head on to some questions. Descendant question coming up next. So, this was a request. You guys request Descendants a lot. So, um, here it goes. Who is Carlos's mother? So who is Carlos's mother? I'm not sure if I have Liv and Maddie this time. I might, but it might be farther in. Just not sure. So who is Carlos's mother? Cruella DeVille, Girly Games and Toys. You got it. Girly Games and Toys. And I haven't seen The Descendants, but I do really want to take some time. After I move, maybe I'll like relax and watch it because it looks really interesting. And I think it's kind of funny if you think about it. Like these villains, you never think that they would be nice enough to like, you know, have a relationship with someone because they're very set on getting vengeance or like Cruella de Vil, She just wants her puppies to make a fur coat. Like I never thought of her having a kid. So it's... <laughs> I guess you're not supposed to think that much into it, but I just thought it was kind of funny. It's just kind of odd to me, but it's a neat idea. So they just kind of extend those characters without having to make up entirely new ones. They just make the kids of them. So, all right, guys, a Jojo Siwa question. So Jojo Siwa's dad, Tom Siwa, has a profession, like a job. So what is it? What does Tom Siwa do? He's not just uh, Jojo's dad. He actually has a job that is his career. So what is that? Let's see if you guys know. This I think is a little bit more difficult, but um, it's it's kind of commonly known. Even I knew it. So he's not a lawyer. He's not a DJ. That's really funny though. A dentist? No, I thought it was too at first. Like I thought originally like he would seem like a dentist. Oh no. A DJ, a DJ. Maybe he was a DJ. I'm thinking more recently than I guess. So I see a lot of people putting a DJ. He was a doctor. He was a type of doctor. Does anybody know what specifically what kind of doctor he was? A guard? You know, I've seen, I saw a picture of him doing DJ stuff. Now I'm really curious as to if he also did that. Is he also a DJ? Pediatrician. Okay. Well, let's see. Okay. Tom C. was a kind of doctor. It's a type of doctor. What type of doctor is he then? What type of doctor is he? A podiatrist? Orthodontist? Nope. Singer, surgeon. This one's a little bit hard, I guess. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to, I'm seriously, I'm, I'm very interested in, I'm going to be looking it up. Um, 
I'll go ahead and let you, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys. He was a chiropractor. So he would like fix people's aches and pains. Like you go and you get your back aligned or popped or whatever. But yeah, he was a chiropractor. So I'll do another question. So Taylor Swift question per request. So in what Taylor Swift song does she sing about Romeo and Juliet? What is the name of that song? That is so crazy. I've seen a few pictures, but I thought he was just doing that DJ thing for fun. So, in what Taylor Swift song does she sing about Romeo and Juliet? What is the name of the song? It's not 17. It's not Shake It Off. Love Story. Kylie Sparkles, you got it. It's one of her, not her very first song, or maybe, I don't know if it actually is, but it's one of her first songs. They kind of changed. She kind of changed from where she was. But yeah, Love Story. So, Taylor Swift, Love Story. Yes, that was correct. And, all right, Super Mario Brothers question. They, this is a request. So, in Super Mario Brothers, what gives Mario a raccoon tail, just the tail, and allows him to fly because he also does get a full suit but I'm just looking what gives him just the raccoon tail and ears I guess but not the full suit and allows him to fly what object so what object oh it's very close it's not a feather Erica Eblen it's a leaf you guys it is it's a like a reddish brown kind of brick red leaf so Erica Eblen it's like an autumn leaf. It always reminded me of like, like just like I said, like an autumn leaf. Right now, if it's ready to fall off the tree. So, all right, so that is the Mario Brothers question, and we shall open up something else. We have a lot to go. Oh my goodness! All right, but I will show you this. So I got these also, including the Hatchimals. I got the My Little Pony ones, and this is Spike, and I think it's Apple. He's turned around, but then there's Rarity and Pinkie Pie, um, Twilight Sparkle, Rainbow Dash, Applejack, and Fluttershy, and Grape, Strawberry, Bubblegum, Berry, Orange, and Banana. So it's not peach. It's a little different. So this is something else I'll open up, and you get to choose, like, one as a prize. So that's it. If you have allergies, let me know before you pick it so we can make sure that you're not allergic to anything in there. And let's open up the Pick Me Pops. So this is going to be my very first, I think. I'm doubting myself now. I think it's my first Series 3 Pick Me Pop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am really wondering. I'm wondering. But yeah, Series 3. Oh, let me smell it. Oh man. Oh my gosh, I can't decide. Well, it's not chocolate. And it's, and the scent is going away. I think I smelled it too much. Uh, okay, well, I want to say it almost smells like one of the caramel apple kinds, but I think they did new flavors. So, can you tell it's a Series 3? I don't know how, other than the fact that it's orange. Does it say Series 3? Oh, I want a lemonade one. I want a lemonade one. Lemonade's good. I love fresh lemonade. Fresh lemonade is like the best the best pull okay we'll try we know how that works I think I have more Pokemon questions I should but like I said they're all everything's all mixed mixed up oh, man yeah they should have made Applejack the apple flavor okay guys going in with the scissors maybe it works maybe it doesn't oh man oh man here we go. A little bit better. There we go. And it's a green bottom. You can always see. It's like a kind of like a foam green. Or it's blue. I take it back. It's a blue bottom. It looked like green. It tricked me. I already lost my memory. Don't make me lose my eyesight. So sometimes these come off easy. Sometimes they do not. Oh, I can twist it off, I think. Yes got it. Inside we've got our little critter. 
the stand for this so it stands up. Oh, and I totally forgot to. Okay, pausing this. So I've opened up the Cake Pop Cuties and I was always like, oh, I wish they made like a stand for it. You're supposed to use like the top that has the hole in it as the lid so you don't get a complete Cake Pop Cutie when it's standing up like this has like the top to it. You use the top as the stand. So I, know, I remember I'd seen it before too and I just totally forgot. So um, yeah. And I'm going to hide the envelope even though I just saw what I got. But our checklist too. And it doesn't even have... Is it? I'm sorry guys. I'm checking it without trying to let you see. Man, that's a bummer. It doesn't even have like the um, old... You'll see in a second. We'll open this and then we'll see. <gasps> Ta-da! It's a panda. And I cannot say that it smells like what it says it is because I see what scent it is on the little paper there. But it's cute regardless. So little panda. And here is the thing. It's Pachi the panda. And you can see the little coconut top to it. And yeah, it's a coconut scent. Bamboozied. Bamboozied. Is this supposed to be like bamboozled? Bamboozled means you were tricked. And so you can see it's not like the open up envelope, which I really liked. I liked when it was like a little letter. It's almost mimicking it with the little shape there, like it's where you tuck it in, but it's a trick. I wish they wouldn't have done that. That was like a cute little thing. It was like a little mail for you. Oh, well, I guess they wanted to save paper, maybe like a little tiny piece. But oh, my goodness, is this bigger? No, it's about the same size. So. And the surprise pack, two sweet scented plush. So this is not the side, but we'll have a look at it because I've never seen it. So here's the scents. There's apple, blueberry, blueberry bubblegum, chocolate, coconut, frosted donut. Ooh, fruity gelato. Oh, another good one. Grape they had last season too. Lemonade. I really wanted lemonade. Marshmallow, pineapple. Pineapple always smells good. Pumpkin pie. Okay, guys, here's something, and I'll ask this in the next live stream. I don't like pie. I know, like, that's crazy. Like, I'm not a big fan of pie. I like the crust. I like the part that everybody, like, doesn't like. I like pie crust. So when, like, someone else is eating pie, I'll be like, I'll have the crust, you know, like, I'll eat the crust. But um, I don't like pie. Just the mix of the breading with that, I just don't, I don't like it. Um, s'mores. So I'll ask, do I like pie? And the answer is no, I don't. So s'mores, strawberry, summer berries. Ooh, that's probably good. And watermelon. That's another good one. Oh, that's really cute. Does it have rainbow wings like that? Oh, it does. All right. So here's the common ones. Uh, Pachi the panda right there. He's a common. Fritter, the fennec. That's a really cute. They've got some really nice prints on the common ones. Sting the bee. The wings are really pretty. And camo the chameleon. That's really cute. Beaver, the Miji, the cheetah, <laughs> the armadillo, Crumble the kitten. Oh, kitty Sam's would crumble the kitten. And then um, they have a hermit crab. Ooh, the skunk. I don't think they've ever had one of those. A snail, crocodile, the capybara, a whale shark. Okay. <laughs> Cats up the Persian, another kitty. Oh, that's cute. It looks like a bunny, but I know it's a chinchilla. But it looks like a bunny, so it's really cute. Coco the Poodle. Oh, and they have long legs. Oh, these are posh pets. Ultra rare and long legs, limited edition. Oh, that's cute. Omelette the Ostrich. Oh, and that's a donut one. And Pink Pinks the Flamingo and Nori the Crane. And these are exclusives. Oh, the pony's cute. The Daisy the Bulldog. Oh, no, I need this one. I need this one. I need it, guys. I need it. I need this. So... Hartley the bunny. Per the Siamese cat, another one you need, Kitty Sam's World. I see you said you need that one. Do you have any of these yet? Any Series 3? This is I think this is my first one. I don't recognize the checklist at all. So Cheddar the mouse and Scale the lizard. So here is for the two packs, in case you guys have not seen it. Oh, that looks, that's a ladybug. But okay, that looked like ears to me. It looks like an anime character. I can't place it, but it does. But I don't see a bunny here. But the Shiba Inu, that's really cute. And then rares, there's the playing cat. Okay, so there's another cat. And then 
Swan, bald eagle, those are interesting things. The puppy, they didn't even label what kind of puppy. Dragonfly, uh, the bat, that's kind of cool. The starfish, that's pretty neat. The cobra, I don't know about these ones. These ones are not so big, but I like that name, maple. I like that. And then the jumbo plush, oh, I got this one. I got Inca the llama. I haven't opened it yet, but I did get it. So, and then I think... I think I saw Love the Bear too, and I might have seen the poodle, I'm not sure, but I might get the pony one if I see it. So I probably would just get those two. So that is that. And we are going on to our questions. And this is Sophia the First. Okay. So Sophia the First question per request. What is the name of the young witch Sophia the First makes friends with? So what's the name of the witch that Sophia the First makes friends with? Do I watch Stranger Things? You know what? Um, I have seen bits and pieces of it. Um, I kind of just had it playing as I was um, cleaning up the house that I'm going to go to, my new place. So I haven't really watched it all the way straight through. So it's not Vin Vivian. Um... It's Lucinda. So E Green accidentally added an extra C at the beginning, but I know she meant Lucinda. So E Green, you got it. E Green. It's Lucinda. Was the name of the young witch that Sophia the First makes friends with. All right, series three. Sorry about that, my pen dropped. Did not break though. Series three, little sister question. So quick, grab your checklist. Are you ready? I've got mine. All right. So name a little sister wearing a yellow diaper. Name a little sister wearing a yellow diaper. There's quite a lot. There's like one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's five, I think. Yeah. So name a little sister. Hello, Jacob. This is Sugar Bunny Hops. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, let me see. Is that one? Little Super Baby. Yep, Little Super Baby is right. So, that goes to Girly Games and Toys. <laughs> so, um, Little Super Baby is one. Let me get you in there and then I'll show you guys. So, Girly Games and Toys. There we go. So here's our checklist. And if we scroll through, I don't count that. That's gold. So the choices were Little Dawn, or the answers were Little Dawn, Little Super Baby. None of those. Little SPF Cutie. Little VR Cutie. It's kind of like a neon green, but I would have accepted it because if anybody would said it. Um, and Little Sleeping Baby. And that is it. So, good job. Did you guys have the checklist or did you just know? Like, I have to have the checklist. Like, I might be able to get some answers, but, I mean, that's kind of a difficult one to go. Like, oh, a yellow diaper. I totally know a baby with a yellow diaper. So, all right. Here is, um, it's a, I guess it's a superhero question. So, I know this has been asked and uh, requested before. So, if you guys know your superheroes, I don't know if this is Marvel, I think. Might be DC. I know if somebody was like hardcore into this, they would be like, how dare you? But yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. I think it is Marvel, though, I think. So um, what is the um, name, the first and last name um, of the human form of the Hulk? So the Hulk, when he's not the Hulk, he's a person. What's his name? First and last name. I actually just watched him. Um, movie last night the um the new one the new avengers i can't remember what the the rest of the name on it was but i didn't like the ending it was sad it's definitely a cliffhanger <laughs> bruce banner you got it kyla may k-y-l-a may k-y-l-a-m-a-y bruce banner is correct and I just saw, am I going to do a face reveal? Not soon, probably not, guys. Um, 
maybe a year, maybe? I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. It doesn't bother me that you asked that, but I just want to be honest. Like, I don't know. So, um, yeah, that's where I stand on that. But I, maybe I'll do like a, a, like a profile reveal or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll think of something. Maybe I'll like show you guys my hair from the back or something. Or I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I think that was three. Yeah, it was three. So let's open up something else or let, let me show you something. And then we have one other thing that's just a prize. So I got these mini press on nails. I know these won't fit everybody. I don't, they're not, they would never fit me. So I think this is more for kind of like between, I wouldn't say a four year old cause I don't think a four year old will wear this, but depends. Every kid is different. So maybe like five to six year old up to like 11, 12, maybe 13. It just depends on how big your hands are. I don't have big hands. My hands are small, but um, these are just, they're narrow. So, but there's different designs on them. So I'll break those up into one pack each and then those can be picked for prizes. So they're press on nails. And so if you've got any questions, if you want to pick these, I think they're just sticky on the back. There's no like glue that you have to apply to your nail. So, and my mom never let me get any fake nails or press on nails when I was a kid. And that's okay because the glue does ruin your nails over time if you keep doing it again and again. So it was for safety. Well, let's open up this soft and slow squishies. And this is, what series is this? This is one of the older series. What series are you? Series two. I remember I thought that the, um, they kept showing like the same box and having it, but they just changed the little characters. So you can't really tell because the box looks the same. But the series are different. I think it's like series eight or nine that they're on now. And it has like a mer kitty and all kinds of things. But this is the one that I think I've got two of these left from a complete box that I'd got. And I did get the bunny. I don't have that. That puppy that's like a greenish color. I don't think I have. I know I do think I have that. I, do, I, yeah, I think I've got all those except for that one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have my collection partially packed and partially out. So... I guess I'll find out when I move, but yeah, other than placement in the box, there's no code or anything or peek hole, but I do think the placement in the box is um, something. So if you find a YouTuber that had bought a whole box and um, open them, then you might be able to uh, find it, but these are not in the stores anymore unless your store carries the older versions, but that's entirely possible too. Sometimes they get them in later. <gasps> oh, and see? Because I did get a whole box, so that is the one that I don't think I had. So I know that I didn't have. So we got, it's a puppy. I think it's going to be like a cocker spaniel because of the way that the um, the ears are kind of rigid like that. But it's a medium rise. It's a medium. Definitely going to open up faster than the other thing, but because it's a lot smaller, but. And the smell on these is not really very strong at all. Some of the squishies, not on this one either anymore because I had it out for a few days, but some of the squishies have a really strong scent, which I, I like on some of them, but some of them smell gross. <laughs> so, but this, these don't really ever have a strong scent. And I think it has to do with how they're packed because some of them like the, um, the ones in like the aluminum kind of, the foil, the foil bags usually keep the scent pretty good. And the smooshy mushies because they're like wrapped in a container, sealed, and then sealed some more. So yeah, not very strong at all, but cute nonetheless. So there goes that. And let's get to some more questions. <laughs> Marvel. I think I'm average. I think I'm average height. I'm done growing, but I think I'm at average height. You guys want to know how tall I am? This can be a question for the next time. So, I am five, five and a half. So, I'm five foot, five and a half. But you can just say like five foot five. So, I'm going to say, how tall am I? And you put five foot five. Five foot five inches. And then, I guess that's weird if you're in another country too, because you guys don't always use, always use that. You guys use meters. I know I was talking to someone in Canada, and they're like, they're how tall they were. And I was like, um... I know how to figure it out, but it just was, it took me off guard. So, all right, questions. Uh, this is a Disney question. So, um, five, two, five, two is tall. Like how, how, well, I guess, I don't know. I don't know who, who's there, but five, two is tall for a kid. 
I'm in the four foot. You know, I know, I know a couple of people that are about, my grandma's really short. She's like, I think she's just a little bit over four foot tall. My grandma's kind of short, but, um, yeah. So <laughs> she, I remember the day that I got taller than her. She, she told me to stop growing, but I didn't, I kept getting taller. So Disney question, what is the name of the raccoon in Pocahontas? What is the name of the raccoon in Pocahontas? Six eight is so tall. That is so tall. Thirteen and five ten. Oh my goodness! Taller than me at thirteen. Holy cow! You know, there's nothing. You know what? Lots of people that are short, they tell me they're fun size. So, if anybody says you're short, say I'm fun size. Miko. So Lauren Stoner, you got it. Lauren Stoner. It is Meek, Miko, and I thought I think it's M-E-E-K-O, but that's okay. I told you guys the spelling's not so critical. As long as I know that's what you meant. So there you go. It is Miko. So fun size. If you're short, you're not short. You're fun size. And if you ask a really tall person, sometimes being tall is just not fun either because sometimes in cars it's very uncomfortable or walking through doorways or trying to fit on things. It's just, it's not always good being tall either. So some things are good being tall. Some things are good being short. You are perfect the way you are. So this is, what is this? What kind of this? Oh, it's a Pokemon question. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. I looked at the answer and I'm like, what is this? Okay. What are the names of the two humans in Team Rocket? So what are the names of the two humans in Team Rocket? And I don't know if they have like another Team Rocket. So I'm talking original Pokemon here when it first came out. I think they're pretty much the same though. <laughs> Vertically challenged. I've heard that before too. You want more Marvel questions? Fun size. <laughs> Jesse and James. Erica Evelyn, good job. Jesse. James. Erica Evelyn. I could have done that better. But, yep, Jesse and James. Watch that every morning before I went to school. Who's that Pokemon? And then I would yell at the wrong answer just so my brother would go, No, it's not! <laughs> I knew who it was, but it made him upset, so I did it to tease him. All right, uh, Descendants question. So, Descendants. Who is Jane's mother who is jane's mother let's see and i think it's jane's my handwriting was a little bit sloppy i don't think it's james i think it's jane's jane i think i have more marvel questions but they might be spread out so who is jane's jane j-a-n-e jane's mother who is jane's mother Kika's world got it. It's the fairy godmother. Kika's world. And normally I do pick two winners, but because I missed a few weeks, I was going to do six, but then I was like, no, I'll just do four. So I'm going to do four winners. Normally I just do two. So I'll do the four winners from that, and then I'll add them into here, and then I'll draw from this, and I'll draw the three winners. And I did... Um, write that the first prize um, gets 20 prizes, second prize gets 15, and third prize gets 10 for the grand prize drawing. So um, that makes three. And uh, let's see, what shall we, what shall we open? Mini Winnies? Yeah, we can do a Mini Winnies. Actually, let me show you this real quick. So Hatchimals, and these are slap bracelets. I have some JoJo Siwa slap bands, and they are rubber coated. So they're a little bit different than these Hatchimal ones. And they're, cause I mean, these are like, these are like individually packaged where these are like a party pack. So they are a little bit different. These ones are more like a plastic coated, or not coated, but covered. So, but they'll still, they're still comfortable. and. In case you guys are wondering, like, they don't hurt when you put them on. Like, I know some of them, or a couple of people actually were like, I'm scared that they're going to hurt, but they don't hurt. And if you think, if you're worried about that, you can always just, like, press it on and then just close it. 
or have it curled up and then roll it around your arm. So if you've never had one of these, these were like really, really popular for like a long time. But yeah, Hatchimals, there's four different. No, I think it's just two. They trick me. So this one and this one are the same and this one and this one are the same. But that's what they look like. So there you go. So these are going to be in the prizes. I'll open that up and they'll be individuals. So Briar. And if you guys remember, I've opened up the Briar Pocket Dogs. These horses are so much better quality than the Pocket Dogs. And, um, you know, it's their horses. That's what they're known for. They're known for the horses. But this is a Series 2. I do have a video of these that I opened up a bunch of the bags of the Series 1. And um, so, yeah, if you wanted to see that, you can go check that out. But... There were two different colts now. These are the easiest to feel because they're two in there and they're separate. So I know that in another bag, because I got two bags, that I have Meg and Britt, the little colts. And for the, um, it's like the special one. For Series 1, I know that they had a stand in it. And I still find the Series 1 one. So if you're checking, I don't know if Series 2 comes with a stand or not. But... All the rest of the horses are just one horse. So the the little colts are really tiny. You'll feel two of them. But in series one, at least, for the special one, because I know I have one. I just haven't opened it yet. Um, it comes with a stand. So you can feel a big horse and then a stand as well. So And I did feel all the bags. So someone might have already got it. In the first series, it was in the back right-hand part of the box. And I, again, I didn't find one, so I don't know. Um, and it looked like a new box, so maybe they're not doing it again. They're not putting a stand in there because people would find them. But in this one, I believe, I didn't super, super feel on it. I think I've got one with a long tail and its head bowed. So I might have Lola or Alfie or Coconut in this bag. So just not sure. But we will see. So series two, and I believe these ones are only two dollars. So it's a good deal for Briar because they're usually pretty pricey for the bigger ones, the collectors. Let's see. Yep, head bowed in the tail. Is that supposed to be there? Who is this? Tootsie. I think it's Tootsie. Or no, it's not Tootsie. Is it Charlie? Oh, it's Charlie. Okay, so it's not one like that. It is bowed, but the head tail is a little bit different so it's Charlie so I was kind of close but kind of off too a lot off so but I didn't really super try to feel I would like Lola though I do like that that um pattern so and Dusty should be pretty easy to feel Dusty and Toby because they won't have tails and Harley and these ones too because they're I don't know I don't know what that position's called somebody with horse knowledge I don't know what this is they're not really rearing they're kind of sitting they're sitting but there is the horse and I want to say the paint on this is actually not the greatest like the other ones seemed like they were better but he does have two white socks or she Charlie Charlie's okay. well Charlie is actually could be male or female so but it does come with a checklist and a sticker so here's our sticker of Charlie or what's supposed to be Charlie based off the real horse it's a bit darker right here than in this one so and here's our checklist. And there's only that one, um, that one rare one. So Charlie, super cute. Midnight. I always like anything to do with the night. Is really cute. Lola, I really like that one. Fritz looks like Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron. And so does Dusty. Dusty looks like the little tiny spirit. Megan Britt and then Emerald. So. And I will be getting more of these, so we'll, hoping, we'll be opening more of these in more live streams. I already have one for the next one, so, and that's going to be the Colts, for sure. I think it's coming back. Oh, oh no. Oh no, alright, I'll try again, you guys. <laughs> Let me go ahead and do this real quick.
Are we good again? Are we good again? Or should I restart it? Is it good or should I restart? Are we good? Okay. All right. So I was doing a monster high question. I guess nobody heard it because I didn't see anybody do that. So, um, all right. Monster high question. Uh, Rebecca Steam or Rebecca Steam actually was the first female athlete for what? So this might be easy, might be hard. I think this is something common in the, um, the show though. So, uh, rather than just cause she still does it. So she's the first female athlete for what, what's it called? I don't know why I, it shouldn't be. It's kind of it's 923. It shouldn't be, um, shouldn't be lagging so much anymore. So what is it called? <laughs> the the Monster High has specific names for certain things carrying children. Girly games and toys. What? She said, guess what? I'm guessing what? The question was, uh, in Monster High, Rebecca Steam was the first female athlete for what? Not gymnastics, not football, not wrestling. Scaring children. I didn't know if that was a sport. Athletes. What's up, girly games and toys? Oh, where's my other squishy? Lacrosse. Oh, I guess this is a hard one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say the answer. She was the um, first female athlete for the Scullamate Roller Maze. So, Scullamate Roller Maze, which I guess is like a, something that she does again. So, um, I thought that would be maybe hard or maybe easy because I, I assume that she'd still do it then they would mention it in the show, but... I don't know. Not sure. So we'll skip that one and we'll go to another question. So Sophia the First. This should be an easy one, I guess. How old is Sophia the First? How old is she? Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Girly games and toys. That's neat. But just be careful, okay? I don't, I don't want to say it because personal information you should keep secret. You should only give that if you're comfortable with it and if it's okay. That's the first thing, if it's okay. <laughs> One number at a time, guys. Sophia the First, how old is she? Anajali Nanda. Okay, I can't say that name. I'm really sorry, but you got it. A-N-J-A. A-N-J-A. L I Nanda N A N D A. She is eight years old, so Anjali Nanda. Anjali. Anjali? Anjali. Might be an interesting way to spell it. I'm sorry. Multiple ways. So if I say someone's name wrong, I'm sorry. It's not to be mean. I just I'm not sure. And I have extra paper. So yep, Sophia the first is eight years old. Alright guys. LOL surprise. Grab your checklist. Series three, big sister, name a doll wearing something black and white striped. So name a doll wearing something black and white striped. There are one, two, three, four, five different things. Oh no. All right, I'm going to go ahead and restart it because that seemed to work better the last. Welcome back again. Third time's a charm, maybe? I'm not sure, but I'm not, I really don't know why it's freezing up so much. There might be like an update that I need to do. So maybe that's, maybe that's what it is, hopefully. I don't, hope it's not something that I can't fix, but I mean, I'll have to figure it out regardless because I like to do this and I need to figure it out because I want to do this, so. Hello everybody! Welcome back or welcome here. If you're already here still waiting, I'm not sure because you guys said it gave you a new notification, but there we go, I guess. So 
I know that some people heard the the question, and I know that some people didn't, so um, I'll just skip that one for now. Maybe I'll come back to it another time. I'll just put a square around it, and I'll do that one in the next one, so heads up for you guys. So, all right. Um, is it frozen again right now? Is it frozen again right now? No way, Jose. Oh, man. Is it again? Right now, right now? Oh, yay. Okay, is that any better? Maybe? Maybe not? Maybe, 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 maybe not? Ah, this is so frustrating. When technology doesn't work, it's so frustrating. Okay, let me see if I can get this to... Um, let me try something really quick. I'll be right, right back. Okay, how are we doing? Any better? I wasn't here. I was trying to see if I could fix something. Any better? Any better? Any better? Mm. Okay, it's showing a green. Showing green for me, so it looks like it's doing pretty good. Hi there! Again, is this time four or time five? I'm not sure. But as I'm squishing this, I'm going to have to call because look at... Look what happened! Look what happened to my squishy just from regular squishing. I'm so sad about this. That's upsetting. That's very sad. It's very upsetting. So, all right. Looks like we've got a good stream. Good live health. Stream health here. So, all right. Um, all right. This is a Disney question. If you guys are ready, we're doing Disney question. Kyla May. Is that it? <laughs> All right. So, Disney question. What is the name of the main bad guy in uh, Disney's A Bug's Life? So, the main bad guy. There's probably, like, there's a kind of, like, a few, but there's, like, a main one. What is the name of that main bad guy? What is the name of the main bad guy? And that's a pretty good movie. Likes big bows. You're right. It's Hopper. So likes big bows. And thank you guys so much for your patience. I honestly don't know what it is other than maybe a lot of people are just pulling from the hair or something. I don't know. It's Friday night, so maybe my neighbors are home now and on their computers or playing games or streaming or something. I don't know. It's just pulling it really bad today, so... Maybe I should change the days from Fridays to a different day. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to vote what, what day works good for everybody and whatever one works best and then what a time or something. We'll have to figure something out so it works good. All right. So that's our Disney question. Um, 
Here is, uh, it's kind of a JoJo question. It just depends, I guess. Also, if you know this game, then maybe you'll know it too. So, what online game does JoJo have her own avatar on? There's an online game that made a JoJo Siwa avatar and outfit and everything. What game is that? What is that called? <laughs> but are you allowed to? See, I'm so super protective of, like, personal information, like... Oh my goodness, E Green, Star Stable, you got it right. E Green, does anybody play Star Stable? I used to play Star Stable a lot. Really good. Star Stable. I don't, I don't have the JoJo stuff. I haven't played it in a while though. So, but yes, it's Star Stable. <laughs> Roblox, I did. I don't think they have a JoJo on Roblox, but who knows? I haven't looked for one. Giga's World, you play Star Stable. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it's it, it's like any game. You gotta get used to it, Kylie. Yeah, Star Stable. It took a little getting used to, and then you find if the more you play it, you start getting like really used to it and finding shortcuts and stuff. Minecraft. Minecraft on the PlayStation 4 I've played. But um Plants vs. Zombies, you guys know that's my main one. So Every Girl's a Supergirl. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Um, all right, so here is a Harry Potter question per request. So, what is the name of the what, like? What is the name of a non-magical person? What do the the magical people call the people that do not have any magic powers? What are they called? <laughs> Muggles, E Green, you got it. I think E. Green likes Harry Potter. E. Green, there you go. So it is a muggle. I'm a muggle. I wish I wasn't a muggle. I want some magical powers. That would be so fun. I don't know what magical power I would want. If like if, if I could pick like one power, I, it would be so hard for me to pick. I'm going to have to do like, like a question to have you guys answer because I would really like to see what you guys would pick and I want you to just like really think about it too. Like not just like go really quickly like this is what I would want because some people would like to fly, some people would like to travel through time, read minds, like there's so many things or like predict the future, like there's so much like and what you would do with it, like, it's just so, so many things. So all right, I think that was three. One, two, yep, that was three. So we will get on with opening. And I know you want me to guess the name. I don't remember all the names of the things. Let me see. Let's open up our Hatchimals. Let's see. I don't think it's going to be Midnight Paisley Smoke. Is it Delilah? I really like that name. You really want to see your grandma again? Tell her time. Okay, we're in a third grade. Wow, seven bucks. Alright, this is Hatchimal Season 3. Is your name Delilah? Girly Games and Toys? You guess Noobs? <laughs> oh my goodness. Noobs is gamer talk. So Season 3, um, these are the Hatch Forever, Friends Forever. And you can get two in one egg. You get two in one egg. Um, you can. So will you hatch twins? And I've seen twins hatch. Paige XOXO, she um, has a YouTube channel and she's had a lot of these and she hatched a lot of twins. They're so cute. So, um, I think I've opened up the twin ones, but I didn't get any twins. So we'll see if I get any today. I don't know all the different kinds. You know what I do have a problem with with Hatchimals is that in these bags, there is no checklist. No checklist at all. And just to let you guys know, I don't know if they come in the single packs, but if they do, then there's these little holes right here and you can always push the egg to it to see if it's got the gold glitter on it. I don't know if they're doing that in this series though, but I know the other one they were. So it comes in a little plastic thing, that way people can't break them through the package or they less chance of breaking them. But I know the speckles um, determine like what kind of um, category it's in, like if it's like a garden or there's a couple, of, there's like a lot of different kinds and I'm not really super familiar with Hatchimals, but yeah, the, the color speckles determine what kind. So when you have a multi-pack and you see most of the eggs, um, that's what they're for. So if you have a regular checklist, then you know. Or you can know. And you can probably look it up online, too. I'm sure you can. So it does come with instructions, but basically all you do is you hold the egg, you rub the heart until it changes color. And usually I'm used to the purple one. 
So I don't know what color this is supposed to change. You know, let me look at the directions. Maybe it's different, but I doubt it. Oh, I can't read that, guys. I don't know that language. Tiens, Leuf, Dans, Tess, Mains. Yeah, no. Someone's probably on me. That's not how you pronounce it. Okay, hold the egg in your hands. Rub the heart. When it changes from purple to pink, we have a problem. This is not purple, guys. So they need updated instructions. When it changes from purple to pink, it's ready to hatch. This is like a neon orange. So, what's this mean? Was this purple already and it's kind of pinkish and it's too hot in my room? It probably is too hot. <sighs> it's not changing color. It's not changing color, guys. It's not changing color like it normally does. The speckles on the egg tell you which family it's from. See? Oh! They tell you in there. Okay, so gen gently press right above the heart with your thumb to crack. Which is basically, you don't even need to rub it. That's just for fun, honestly. And mine's not changing, so it's going to always be ready to hatch. And I like to save the egg. Did I get twins? Oh, I got twins! I got twins, you guys! Oh my goodness! And I thought I did because I did shake the package. Just to let you know, because you can kind of like hear. And I thought I got twins and I got twins! Oh, I think I got the one on the package too. Are they little koala bears? They're like bobbleheads, aren't they? Let's see. Oh, I did get the ones in the package, but one of the eyes is closed instead of being open like that. Oh my gosh, I got twins! What is this? They move their heads around. Is that so it can fit in the egg better? Is that all the reason? Because the other ones didn't. Or maybe they did and I don't remember. But, all oh, the wings are down in the back. I really like the Hatchimals, how they have the little wings on them. They're so cute. Little bears. No, uh No. And I got blue eyes on this one. So I did, oh, oh, forgive me. I did get twins there. And they don't shake, so it's not like a bobblehead. You have to actually press it down. See the spring mechanism. I always have to examine things. I gotta know what it does. So, no checklist. I don't know what family they're from. I, I don't know, but it's this color orange speckled egg with orange, not purple hearts, Hatchimals, Mr. Hatchimal. Dear Mr. Hatchimal, your instructions need to be updated. The heart is orange, not purple. He's gonna be like, uh, people already know what to do with these. So I'm gonna pick up my trash, maybe. There's a lot of little pieces, and I like to save the little eggs. And they fit, they fit. They don't fit. If I took more time, they would fit again, but there we go. So let's see. Girly Games and Toys, we were trying to figure out that name. Did you say if it was Delilah or not? I don't have any Liv and Maddie questions, I don't think. If I haven't come across one yet, I don't think I have one. But um, if you comment on this video when it posts, um, comment that, and then I can try to put it in there. And sometimes I get a lot, a lot of requests, and I just... I run out of time to to put them down, especially right now when I'm packing. So I don't think it's gonna be Alfie. Let's see, maybe Lola or Harley or Meg or Britt. There's only like four or five names I would think. So Meg, Britt, Harley, Lola, or Delilah has got to be your name. Hi there, Nate Snyder. So that was my guesses for Girly Games and Toys. Alright, uh, Descendants question. So, Descendants. What subject does Mr. Delay? Dealy? D-E-L-Y. Mr. Dealy teach at Ardon Prep. <laughs> See, these words I have not heard. Mr. Dealy? Deli? What subject does Mr. Dealy teach at Ardon Prep? <laughs> Potions, magic, magic, science. Nate Snyder, it is science. That's what it said. So if he teaches potions or magic specifically, I'm sorry. The, the answer they gave me on their thing was um, science. So Nate Snyder, grab that one. I'm only as good as the answers the internet gives me. 
without knowing. Some things I know specifically about myself, but some things I have to look up. So um, here's another LOL surprise, but this is the LOL Glitter Series. Not the Glitter Glam, the new one, but the Glitter Series, the old one. So grab that checklist real quick. Three, two, one. Name a doll wearing orange. And there are one, two, three different three different uh, dolls wearing orange. So name a doll wearing orange. I think there might be more Harry Potter. Yep, there is. I do have Facebook. I don't use... Um, don't use Facebook as much as Instagram. I do post to it, but I use the little thing through Instagram to post on the Facebook. So, let me see. Mm -mm. Sorry, guys, I'm going to scroll for a second. Uh, Neon Cutie was not in the, um, the glitter series. And Diva is not wearing any orange. She's wearing pink, white, and black. And uh, Hoops MVP is the first one. Squishy Kitty got it. So Hoops MVP is wearing orange, and I'll show you guys. Squishy Kitty. There we go. I know that's an H. <laughs> I just lifted my pen a little bit. So here it is. MC Swag. She's got on some orange, orange, orange. Orange shoes, so that was one. Super baby, she's got on a little bit of orange on her collar, her belt, the bottom of her skirt, and then shoes. And then Hoops MVP has on uh, orange shorts and some numbers, and then on her shoes as well. But that is all that, that's the only ones that are wearing any orange there. So, yep, good job. All right, here is a Disney question. What is the name of the cat in Pinocchio? What is the name of the cat in Pinocchio? I do have more Harry Potter, yes. <laughs> They're just mixed up, so um, it'll, it'll come up in um, whatever order that I'd written them down in, because I spaced them out so not too many questions of any one kind would be there. So Chester, nope, Figaro likes big bows. Figaro, you got it. Likes big bows. And there you go. All right. We got to open up something. We have left Shopkins Squishums, a Kinder, and then this um, Shimmer and Shine. And let's do the Kinder because, you know, we get some interesting things in there and Sugar Bunny is not always impressed when it's not... One of the specialty ones. I'm still looking for the little finger rollerblades because those are kind of cool and I like rollerblading. I love rollerblading. And then the bicycle, which I thought was really cute too. But I got that little toy that was interesting. It was kind of fun. But I just, I like things that I really like or something really with it. But I know they're just little toys in here. So sometimes they have really cool things though. So I want really cool things. Oh, oh yeah. And there's no candy because that's gone. That's gone. Don't expect there to be candy, guys. Unless it's really part of the package. And did I get... I got something like this before. 